Mark, my question now kind of pertains to the June roster that just dropped. You obviously come off four good games for your club. You're probably feeling pretty good about yourself. Miles Robinson goes down with an Achilles injury. You're thinking, all right, well, that sucks for him. And obviously, you know, you, you, you're going to probably send him a note saying how horrible that is. Obviously, can, we can all relate to, to the bad timing of that. But it's given you an opportunity. So that's kind of the other side of that coin. And then your name isn't on the rosters. Did you have a – you see other guys – I mean, not that the other guys didn't deserve it, but you probably feel like you've done enough, especially here at the end of the season, to warrant a look, especially because Greg's trusted you before. Did you have a conversation with Greg? Did you find out the roster just like the rest of us? Because I've been on that side of it where you you thought you were in with, with the coaching staff, and I used to talk to Bob Bradley on the phone. And oh, then, initial rosters are the worst, too, when you get that first email. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're just like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's like being put on hold for two hours. You're like, okay, I guess I'm in this pool, but like, I'll wait till that final. No, I know, I know. They, they, well, yeah, for everybody that doesn't know, there's an initial roster that goes out that probably has 35 to 40 players. Yeah. So yeah. you see your name tagged on that, and then – you don't hear anything about the final roster unless you're on the final roster. And and it sucks to find out, oh, well, there it goes. I just saw it on the internet that the roster's out and I'm not on it. Uh, uh, I mean, did you have a conversation with Greg? I mean, what, what, you know, what's, what's kind of the next step for you? Because as I mentioned, because you've earned that trust, because you know how, the way that Greg likes to play, I feel like they gave you a slight advantage of maybe some of these other guys, but maybe he just wants to see them knowing he already knows what he knows about you. Yeah, I think it's probably a bit of both, you know. Uh, he kind of knows my game, you know. We've, we've had a relationship for the past, yeah, a year and some change. What's it been? Yeah, over a year, as you say. So, yeah, we have a good relationship, but but also potentially want to see other guys. And to be honest, it's tough, you know. It's tough not being there, you know, and you work so hard towards the end of the season and trying to make sure that you're you're in that, you know, conversation or at least you're putting yourself in, in the conversation. Uh, to say, well, look, I'm playing match week in and week out. We're getting good results. Kept, you know, three, four clean sheets in a row, you know, completing, you know, over 90% of my my passes, winning over 80% of my do all these things, you know, trying to make sure that there's no real reasoning or or at least trying to eliminate as much reasoning as possible why you will be, you know, admitted from the, the roster. So, uh, yeah, we had a conversation, you know, it was a good conversation. Just bluntly, you know, I just wanted to know, you know, well, what, what was the reason, so. Uh, he was honest, you know, and I think it's again a bit of both. You know, it's both sides, and then knowing me, but but also want to see other guys. So again, it's tough, you know. But now you kind of just got to turn it over because now I got to recharge and you know mess around. And, and I think in three and a half weeks we're we're starting training camp again here in here in Belgium. So you know, I'll take this time to to kind of recharge, get my body right, uh, get my mind right, and and really fine tune my game so that way it's preseason. You know, I step into the team, become staple into the team, leave this new coach. No reason, you know, why I shouldn't be playing every week. So, you know, and that will hopefully mitigate the opportunity of being left out of the roster going forward. And Mark, now, did he give you – you don't have to tell us exactly what he said, but did Greg give you, like, specific things that he'd like to see you get better at so you know over mm -hmm. these next three and a half weeks over this preseason, all right, I got to get better at these things. And if I show that consistently, maybe I still have an outside chance? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, he was uh, – that's – honestly, I – the biggest thing for me is just transparency. You know, I, I'd rather get criticized, you know, and, and be one, be my hardest critic, but two, get criticism. So that way I can figure out what exactly it is. I'd I don't, I don't like this, you know, well, you just don't look like, you know, this, this general you <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. blanket I, statement I, stuff, you it's know, so I, bad. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. Go ahead, Mark. No, no, no. I just, I, I don't, I, I can't stand it, you know? So I'd rather just be straight out with me. Let me know, like, look, a trash player i don't want you on my team you know i'd rather hear yeah. that you know than this lead me on and make me feel like it and then you know uh hey mark uh, i'm yeah. sorry to say this to you uh, yeah but but you're you're a bit of a dumpster fire <laughs> yeah. <of a> <laughs> yeah. could you imagine right. a good saying that? i thought you were good turns out you're a trash player and uh you <laughs> know but, but the, the, that's the truth and again i don't think people always realize that i would say from my own experience, I can only speak to my own experience and the coaches that I know. I would say 75% of coaches are not honest and open and transparent. They play games. They do back out when it comes time for uh, I think it's taking having... the easy road, though, Heath. Like, you're in yeah. that position. A, a, a player comes up to you and says, hey, what can I work on? And if you're not prepared for that, you're scrambling, you know? Yeah. And most coaches aren't prepared for that kind of one-on-one -on -one meeting, but, but, yeah. uh, and, and, and I, I, yeah, I faced the same issues when I was a player because, you know, growing up, that was sort of in our house was sort of to, to ask questions, right? The only way to find out mm -hmm. is to ask questions. And that was seen as combative at times or challenging at times when really I just want to gather information. 
right? And I remember being getting in trouble for asking questions when I was in the national team. And I think the national team is a really unique place uh, anyway because it's so competitive in a way, but at the same time, you have so little control as to yeah. as to especially when you're on the fringe, right? Of like who likes you, who doesn't, your performances are, are, are all relative. It's not like you have this gigantic Delta between the quality of the players, right? There's it's, it's, it's pretty close knit outside of a few stars in the team that, you know, are going to play week in and week out with that. Were you able to digest, like how long did it take you to digest it and like sort of internalize it and turn it into like actionable, right? Cause at first you're kind of like some of that's like, okay, I get it. But also some, some of it's like, yo, F that like I'm a I'm a I, I can you know what I mean like your yeah, ego yeah, it's yeah. hard to like put that off to the side and just take information and be like okay yeah I'm gonna keep doing that when your when your mind is telling you yeah but I've been doing that like what you're saying is what I've been doing um and yeah. I don't mean this specifically to Greg Berhalter or the situation that you're in because it's the yeah, club right. situation and 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 it's any any environment that you're in you're constantly having to sort of battle like the the good and the bad of 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 your mind. No, I think. It was probably, it probably the first hour I was pissed, you know, straight up. I was just like, oh, what the? you know, because it's the evening over here and I've been waiting, you know, waiting to get this, you know, you know, it's the end of the season now. We're, we're, we're building up to the game. I'm like, all right, the window's next week. I got to start making arrangements. You know, how am I going to balance my holiday? The clubs asked me when you come back from international duty, you know, you were, you were involved before. So, so, you know, what's the, what's your travel arrangements, you know, and, you have to be back at this point in time, you know, and make sure you get two weeks of holiday and make sure you recover. But so all these things I'm trying to plan, you know, I'm like, all right, when am I going to see my family? All right, what are we going to do? And I want to get away. I want to go somewhere warm. So all these different factors are moving. Right. And then you get the email. And I was like, what? Like, and then, yeah, you got a flush. I was pissed off. And then I was disappointed. I was pissed with myself. I was like, well, I didn't get good enough, obviously, in these last games, you know, and it's probably because I didn't get played at two, you know, two games ago and he wrote the coach rotated and, you know, so all these things running through my head. Um, but probably by the next morning, you know, I was like, all right, yeah, this is the way it is, you know, and, and I just got to take it in stride right now. So what's the, the, the way, best that can come out of this? You know, I, I take the time to recover and yeah, you know, I wish the best to the team, but yeah, it's yeah. The, the difficult. And by part the way, the, the the hardest part of all of this is that we know it's 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 a it's there's two sides to all of that, right? But we all Jimmy, we went through it with Bruce, with Bob, with Jurgen, you know, now now with 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 Greg Berhalter of saying you gotta you gotta be playing. But there's people that aren't playing that get called into every single camp. That's right. And and it's not the same people. And there and Charlie Davies said it in our on our on our last on our last show on here, which is there's levels to this, right? Christian Pulisic doesn't play for three months, he's coming in, right? He's getting called in. He doesn't play for six months, he's getting called in. I understand that. But there's always in your mind when you're going through that, you look to your left or to your right and you go, Well, what about how come double the standard? Doesn't play? A lot of yeah. double standards. And and, yeah. and 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 that's the reality. And that's not a Greg Berhalter problem. That is a problem with all managers uh around the world. Yeah. Ideally. He should be able to have the depth and quality within this group at a certain point to be like, if you're not playing, you don't come in, period. But that'll never be the case. And that's sort of team building. That's the way it works. And so that's a hard part to go through. And I remember specifically always thinking about it being like, but why, why does that apply to me? You know, why, does, why doesn't that apply to, 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 to him or him or him? Uh, and that sort of thing. And I think that's it's a really hard thing mentally to process always because you realize life ain't fair. You realize yeah. that there is no sort of, no two things are ever the same and, and no one and no one knows you anything i think that was a hard yeah, one yeah. for me to to yeah. take in as well throughout my career when it's maybe some some entitlement sleeps in you had some success you've proven yourself and then you just expect you know i've done it once before why won't you trust me again so some entitlement comes in but then when you realize no one knows you anything i feel like life becomes a little bit easier and you just can kind of focus on what you can control and what you can't <laughs>